Livestock Wealth stel jou in staat om in beerse te belee, al is dit net in een fractie van een beers. En dit ook al Shezi sluit nou by my aan. Hallo Shezi. Hallo. Shezi, fascinating concept. Um, what is it um, that you guys do? We allow people to own cattle, even if they don't have land and don't have time or the skills to be able to farm on a full-time basis. So, so, so t t take me through the details of yeah. how exactly this process works. So we, we, we could call us professional headsmen. Mm -hmm. And in, in financial terms, you could call us asset managers, but the asset being the cow. So how it really works is that uh, we enable a person to own a calf on our farms. And then the, as you own this calf, then it grows on the farm. And then when it reaches an age of about 32 months, then it, it goes for slaughter. And then that's where you get, as the owner of the calf, you get your return on investment. So on a, on, a, on a monthly basis, you pay a monthly amount of two ninety nine every month to maintain and even insure your car. So, so that's it, what we do. let's compare it to something like a, a normal stock or shares. Yeah. Um, when, I, when I buy shares, I know what the value of those shares are. And uh, more importantly, I know who the owners of those shares are. So if I buy Nasper, mm -hmm. I can see who the board is. Yeah. In this case, I'm buying cattle. Do I know who the farmers are? Absolutely. In fact, you actually know your actual cow. Because every cow has got a unique ID which is branded on the cow, so there can be no duplication whatsoever. Mm. So, but the most beautiful thing about owning cattle with livestock wealth is that you can actually visit the farm mm. and actually see your cow at the farm. Something you cannot do with the with the NASPAs, I suppose. You can't just rock up there. <laughs> they want ID. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, another interesting thing about a share yeah. is the fact that I can easily go and I can buy or I can sell it. Mm -hmm. Is it easy for me to, to sell my share? Um, say, for example, yeah. I, I actually need the, the money before the 32 months um, ends, before the cow actually gets slaughtered. Can yeah. I sell my share? Absolutely. You actually can sell, sell your cow because that's what you are selling. Uh, in the last two years, we've had some people when they are pressed for school fees or other things, then you can be able to sell your, your cow. Then all we do is we then put it up for sale and then someone else uh, buys it. We sometimes have a waiting list of people, so then there's always someone uh, ready and willing to then take it out, out of your hands. So all, all these guys that are waiting to, to buy these shares, how do I know what a share in, in a cow is actually worth? Who determines, sure. who determines the value? No, that's, that's, that's very easy. One, for, for cattle, the, the, the winner prizes or the calf prizes are published every week in APSA and Farmers Weekly on, on, on one of their pages, they always have the price of what the estimated rent per kilo is. So it's, it's public available information. So our job is then when we sell you the calf, it has to be in that ballpark yeah. of what the, 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 the calf, uh, calves cost. And then also at the output end, when we slaughter the, the cow as grass-fed, hormone-free, antibiotic-free beef, there is also a standard price, which is, which is also published in, in, yeah. in, in agricultural publications. But since it's premium, there's always that extra premium on top of it. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out who the, who the typical target market is. Yeah. We always say we sit with a stock file market of, mm. that's worth 4.2 billion rand. And often people don't um, understand what the stock file is trading apart from cash. This should be an easier asset to sell to a stock file because it's a product that mm. is, is known to the target Absolutely. market. Is, is that an area that you are actually targeting? Exactly. Exactly. In fact, to taxi drivers, we've got lots of, of people who, who are taxi drivers with no email addresses who own cows at Livestock Wealth. They come to our offices in, in town in Gandhi Square, Johannesburg. They sign up, they fill the paper. And it's something they can relate to. You know, I'm not talking about some imaginary thing or some imaginary unit trust somewhere. I'm talking to them about owning a real cow, a real asset, and there's a value to it. And there's a sense of pride in ownership of cattle. You know, really yeah. for us, that is really the, 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 the touch point that we, 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 we want. Uh, and that's, what we, that's where we connect with our, yeah. with our, with our customers. So, so yeah. one part, of, obviously, is because it's a, it's, mm. it's a live cow, yeah. um, there's the possibility that this cow could also die. How, how do you ensure the investor that the, the cow doesn't die? Sure. So we know that cows may die, just like human beings. So all we do then is just make sure that as part of the monthly fee that you pay towards the maintenance of your cow, in this case the 299, We've done all that uh, actuarial analysis to determine how much contribution each person must make towards the replacement of any cows that may die. Yeah. So part of the monthly amount that you pay uh, covers the insurance for replacement of any cows that die along the growth process. So we, we've really made sure that it's, uh, it's, it's almost as, uh, as, 
as full of peace of mind yes. as can be and with, with less uncertainties as well. well. What's the take up been like so far? It's been great. Uh, we currently have almost 500 uh, investors owning about a thousand cattle. In, in three farms that we operate in Cockstad, in Freyhead, and in Senegal in the Free State. Um, and these are, this, is, this is different types of people, uh, black, white, Africans, mm -hmm. uh, German, American, Canadian, uh, Australian, all, all wow. people around the world are really, uh, really loving the concept of owning real assets, you know, stuff you can see and touch. I absolutely love it. And the fact yeah. that it's so proudly South African and um, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>